So whenever you're ready to introduce. All right. Hey, I'm Chris. We're here for the uh, Plasm release. We're here at Belmont Station, and uh, I'm Chris Nimlowell from Fort George. We're here with Kyle. We're here with Sean. We're here with Josh Berger. Let's drink some beer. Sweet. Cheers. 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 All right, guys. So. Obviously, uh, Plasm is a big release for you guys. It's the first collaboration between the Commons and Fort George and Plasm Magazine. So, really, Fort George is known for you know their IPAs, their big collaborations with those other breweries. What made you guys come together and decide to do a uh, farmhouse sale with Plasm? Well, we we were basically approached by Fort George, uh, you know, really looking to do kind of. The stuff that we do normally and uh, with, with the farmhouse sales and so we we're really looking for an opportunity to brew a beer with them that, that we, we were excited to be brewing a beer with them that uh that was a little bit like i don't know we, we get used to doing our own beers and so it, it's kind of fun to to have a collaboration where you get to work with somebody else who does something different that's awesome and you guys have been knocking out the park lately with everything. Um, so it was when I heard about the collaboration, I was like, "Oh shit, yeah, that's fucking great. Yeah, that's gonna be great." Um, and then Josh from Plasm, I know that you and Jack and Fort George have a long history together. Well, I know uh, Jack's probably is, is my oldest friend, but uh, I've been working with Fort George since day one. I remember when Chris and Jack came into my uh, our studio carrying a big binder full of. Uh, beer labels from around the world and we talked about uh, building a logo and building uh, and they're starting their business you know so uh, you know and trying to balance the ideas of back then we were calling it industrial and organic and you know and, and we we're trying to balance those things and so I've been helping with the Fort George brand since day one and uh, when they, they these guys said, Chris said he wanted to do a Plasm uh, beer or a beer that celebrates Plasm magazine because uh, Plasm is both a magazine and a design firm. And the magazine is a, uh, you know, just a, something that we experiment with uh, form and process and content and import and export culture from the region. And we've been doing it for 20 years and so how do we celebrate that and in, uh, on a can of beer, and I think there's a tie between like the idea of far, the idea of a farmhouse ale, which I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, but a farmhouse ale is about uh, it really has a DIY aesthetic. It's um, and that's what Plasm Plasm magazine is too, and so it's an independent ale and independent magazine, independent publishing, and uh, independent business and. That's power, awesome. power to the people. Yeah. And drink more beer. <laughs> I, I, I love nailed it on the head. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, farmhouse is really, really cool sound. I, I really like to do it. Just you know, some kind of rustic aesthetic. And I know that you guys at Plaza, have, you know, kept it really rustic. And just you know, what you're actually doing is a magazine and Commons. You know, the, the beautiful thing about the Commons beer is that like, it's it's a beautiful beer to drink, and, and everything's too snooty or too refined or anything. It's just like let the yeast do the talking, and yeah, that's man. what I really like. Them. And of course, Fort George um, has done some great stuff as far as collaborations go. So, um, what what made you guys decide to get together with the conference? Well, our our brewery. I mean, we definitely we kind of specialize in IPAs, and our brewery decided we hey we want to make something different. We want to do something new, and uh, our brewery decided they wanted to make a farmhouse ale. And so we really we we love everything the Commons has done. Um, I actually called up Josh Gregas and said, hey, I let's. Can we, can we work together on, on a brewery together, and, uh, or on a, on a beer together? And, um, he was pretty excited about it. Uh, they're doing a big expansion. We wanted it to be a win-win situation. We said, hey, you know, come check out our place. And any questions you guys have, we would love to answer, but we want to um, work with you guys on a farmhouse ale. And 
So uh, he said, well, get ready for some pretty high fermentation temperatures and, uh, and uh, some distinct uh, yeast characteristics. And, and we would, they called me back the next day and said, yeah, we want to work with you guys. So Sean and Mike Frankwitz really developed this recipe and created this beer. Uh, Josh, I feel, knocked it out of the park with the design. And I've been really, really happy with the beer. Yeah, the, the can design has been awesome. It's really, really a sharp design. And um, obviously, you know, Fort George doing a lot of IPAs, and then suddenly coming out with the farmhouse sale, I got really, really excited. So um, I know the Commons has got a lot of good stuff underneath their belt with Myrtle. And also, you're drinking, uh, what are you drinking right now? Plasm? I'm drinking the, the Plasm Farm. Plasm. <laughs> I actually had the uh, the Myrtle with Citrus. Oh, can you, can yeah. you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, you? yeah, that was a, it was kind of a fun variation. Uh, from a very, very early days of the brewery, I really wanted to do a beer with Buddha's Hand, uh, which is a, a citron grown in the, uh, in the Southeast Asia that it's it doesn't have a lot of uh, fruit to it. It's, it's actually just, it's mostly pith and, and and basically the rind. So we were essentially trying to bring a lot of that out, but at the same time we were approached about uh, using this Haitian orange peel. And uh, I don't know, I think I think Kyle can actually talk a little bit about using the Haitian orange peel. Yeah, we, we ended up, um, we used some of it in the end of the boil and then we ended up doing like a dry hop addition in the bright tank with the Haitian orange peel and the Buddhist hand as well too. And it's nice, the orange peel added uh, kind of like the spicy citrus for the Buddhist hand is more of a floral and kind of honey kind of thing and uh, it really made a pretty pretty interesting beer. And the beer already kind of has a citric character because it's uh, it's tart and the hops are kind of lemony, orange, orange rindy. And so it uh, kind of really made that one pop. Was, we were pretty excited the way it came out. Cool. So is that going to be on tap uh, around here for a while? Or are you going to bottle it? Any decisions? I don't think there's going to be a bottle in it. It's, uh, it's such a small well, amount. But uh, uh, if you're not here, you're probably missing it. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, guys, this this actually, this release, I was super excited for because Farmhouse Sales are, is one of my favorite styles of beer. So uh, you guys did awesome with it. It's so cool. Everything from down from the yeast, the nice flavor, the bubble gum I'm getting from the beer is super, super good. Um, so really, really excited for this. And this is how many barrels did you guys brew with this? So there's going to be about there's going to be about 55,000 cans. That's it. Um, and there's going to be a, a nice little smattering of, of kegs out there. Oh, cool. The world, nice. Not too so much. So get it while you can, while you can. Yeah. Basically, is what we're saying. Absolutely. Well, sweet. Well, thank you, Chris, uh, everyone from Plasm and Commons. That was awesome. So uh, it's going to be on tap around here in Portland and in Cairns, uh, up all up in Oregon. So if you get a chance, please grab some because it's amazing. Otherwise, I'll just buy it all and, and kiss poor George's ass some more so they can give me some free shit. But anyway, uh, cheers, you guys. Thanks. Yeah, cheers. 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 Right. Chad. And isn't this an awesome bottle shop? Oh, yeah, right. Belmont Station. So Belmont Station. We love this place. Yeah, if they could just send me a voucher in the mail, that'd be great. But anyway, there they are. It's great. No, Belmont Station is great. I mean, if I, if anytime anyone comes from out of town, they're like, I'm in Southeast. There's two places I only say, Commons and Belmont Station. Oh, yeah. oh man. Right on. Oh, <laughs> what a fucking kiss. <laughs> I, don't know, I just met this guy. But anyway, yeah, Belmont Station has been great. They've got a lot of good Fort George and uh, Common beers on top, actually. So uh, get down here while you can. Try some plasm. Try some of that nice myrtle that just got went on. All right? I think that's yeah. good. Cheers. Cheers. Josh, you've seen uh, one of his videos, too. I've seen a couple of them, yes. I yes. Really, um, seems like I only make Fort George videos, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. It's all right. <laughs> I know you know. Cheers. You're our number one fan, Chad. See, that's the way it should be. Yep. There's my boy right there. Whoa! That's the boy! Look at he's hung like crazy, man. Oh, maybe sit down there. He's, um... <laughs> he's getting up there. I need that case stack. I like that. I kind of like that case stack. Awesome over there. He 
just these look incredible in case stacks. Yes, yeah, I like, like when you get a bunch a of together. Bunch, yes. Oh, I love that. You have case. You have cases of them here.